Hey, Pisces. Okay, this is what the current energy is going on for you guys right now. Timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you meant to see it. So let's see what's going on for you. We have the Ten of Cups. I like that. We have the Hangman. Your energy. And the Four of Wands. Ooh. So it looks like you've been waiting for your Ten of Cups, but something's coming in here now. And by waiting, it's giving you a better perspective. And it might even be a commitment coming in. So what else we have? We have the Two of Cups. Yeah, a partnership. The Knight of Cups. And the Moon. You're, boy, you have both your cards here. Both Pisces cards. And the King of Cups. Okay. Alright, so someone's coming in with a love offer that you've been waiting for for a long time. And this, they're coming across as a Knight of Cups. I think they're a little nervous, but they want to express themselves. But they're actually the King of Cups, so... They're being a little more romantic here, but they actually try to keep things to themselves a little bit here. Now, this could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. Let's get a charm on this one. And the same with the King of Cups. We, yeah, a lot of memories here. So this is probably someone you know with the memory card coming up. Let's see, Knight of Cups. Yeah, because maybe they didn't express themselves in the past. Because we also have the Moon card that's hidden. Emotions. Something being secret, something being kept from you. And maybe that's why you had to wait because this person had a hard time expressing themselves. So let's get on, on charm on the King of Cups. And this is a little kitty head here. Uh, maybe they're independent in their head, but their heart belongs to you, is what I'm feeling here. Some kind of, they're trying to balance things out. Too much in their head, though. This person probably noticed that they think a lot and they don't tell you and they ask them what's going on and they won't tell you. Or, or maybe they don't even know how to tell you here. Okay, but yeah, Ten of Cups. So this is a happy fulfillment um, here. Coming in, a lot of joy and happiness. Let's see what else we get out of this Ten of Cups. Oh, someone's been in despair, probably waiting for this to happen, wondering if it was gonna ever going to happen. Could have been your energy, especially with the hangman here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, now why do we have the hangman here? privileged lady okay so maybe this person sees you as a privileged lady and they didn't know if you know they could provide for you because this person looks down and out and this person looks like they're doing quite all right here so maybe that's the whole thing that's why this person is stuck in their head so what about this four of wands this is commitment a message of concern okay so someone might be sending you a letter or a message or or you might be concerned about something here. We do have the Two of Cups. It feels like a soulmate connection. Pathway. There's a decision. There might be a couple of different ways that you can go with this. You might have a couple of choices. What about the Knight of Cups? I'm taking this as one and the same person. Maybe it's two. Maybe there's someone coming towards you. And this, this might trigger this King of Cups that has a lot of love for you. So let's see. A message, okay. Message of concern, a message. This Knight of Cups is going to get a message to you. A letter, an email, a text. They want to talk to you. Okay, what about the Moon card now? Distance horizon. So something is going to happen in the distance horizon. Something might become clear or maybe something might be a little confusing. We have the coffin. Something come to an end. Something completed. A completed cycle. Okay. See what else we have here for you guys. What else? Six of Pentacles. The Moon again. Ah, see now someone might have been hiding that there was like a third party going on here. Because here we have this. Someone could be given to a couple different people. And this was hidden from you. A moon again. And then the three of cups. Or this could be, for some of you, this could be that this person wants to come and give to you now. They were hiding their emotions. They weren't able to um, express them. Now they want to ask you out. Take it how it resonates with your situation. Okay, let's see. Because it is more, you know, more than one situation going on here. So we do have... Yeah, so someone's going to come towards you really quickly. Oh, they're moving. They might have to be moving away from a connection in order to come to you. So they're 
Okay, this person might have to leave someone behind in order to come towards you. Knight of Swords. This might be a different person here. You might have another person coming in here. We have here a heart. Okay, they have a lot of love for you. They're coming in. Like, for some of you, this is the same person. For some of you, it's someone totally different. Moving away from bad times. Moving away from something that's not making them happy to come towards you. But by doing so, something someone's going to feel left out in the cold. Someone's going to feel abandoned. What else do we have? A high Priestess. Another secret here. Ten of Cups. Sun. Oh. I think this person was keeping this a secret from you that they all the time they wanted to be with you. Um, high Priestess could be a Virgo, a Cancer energy, but I feel like this is this person's energy here. Saying that they wanted the Ten of Cups. We started with the Ten of Cups. So this could be, maybe this person doesn't have as, uh, doesn't feel like they have enough to give you. They're not enough, but you make them happy. They're coming in anyway. Knight of Cups. Here we have the Knight of Cups again. Could, could be this person or this person expressing their love. Oh boy, you might have more than one. I don't know. <laughs> we have a dog. This person is going to be very faithful, loyal, and they want to help you. They're coming in to help you with something. Okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, guys, let's see what the word is. What is the word? What's the word on this Knight of Swords? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be anybody, though. We have Career, Healing, Sincere, Never. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boys. So maybe this person felt like they're never sincere, but they want to heal something. They may even be trying to help you with their, your career. Sincere healing career. Never. I, the never throws me. I don't know. Or maybe they never, it's never healing. Oh, I don't know. I could, I could play with that all night. You can't do that. Okay, let's see. Um, what about this? King of Cups over here. Go right over this side. This one here. Finish. Forget. Karma. Finance. Oh. So something is finished. Someone had a deal with karma. Someone wants someone to forget something. And some do finance. I can't pull a clarifier on the finances. Let's see what's going on with that. We have, oh, a bonus. So someone's getting some kind of bonus money here. And they might figure, they might think that it's karma, that they're getting something they deserve, or, okay. So now what about this Knight of Cups? I have this one here. Committed, unknown, spying. Ooh. So un unknown to you, this person's been spying on you. They want a commitment with you. Okay, what about this um, Knight of Cups? Change. Honest desire freedom. Hmm. So maybe there's some kind of change coming in. Honest desire for freedom. Okay, something's changing. Someone's being honest about their desire. They might be getting freedom from another connection or something else to come to you. Or may they want freedom? Someone, but this is the one that's going to get a message to you. So, again, only take if it resonates. You can move them around to make more sense. Okay. Now, let's see. We'll move this up here. What signs are we dealing with, Pisces? What are the signs? What are the signs? Leo. Sagittarius. Oh, two together. Oh, a double Scorpio. If that means anything to someone. Okay, double Scorpio. Pisces. I want you to be able to see the two Scorpios. Wait a minute here. Okay. That's better. Aries. Oh, we got all the fire signs. And Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Scorp double Scorpio, Pisces, 
Aries and Aquarius. Okay, now let's do the letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get the initial both of someone's first and last name and someone has a middle name, you know that middle name. Get that initial also all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have B, N, J, T, L, A, U, A, Z, E, S. Okay, so the letters we have for you, they are B-N-J-T-L-A-U-A-Z-E-S. Okay, now, let's see what names want to call. What are the names for Pisces? What are the names? Okay, let's see what names we have. We have Tammy, T A M I, Venuel, P H A N U E L. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And we have Justin, Quinisha, Q U N I S H A, Bernadette, Jeanette, J E A N E T T E, Aquila, A Q U I L A H. Um, Angelica, Matt, Lou, Flor, F L O R, and Michaela, M A K A Y L A. Okay, guys, so th we have 12 there. Those are the names. Now remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate with you at this time, please check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And please leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonates. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.